What's up y'all, Alan from Blue Evolution 312 checking in with my boy Brandon. It's a Saturday for us, we're heading out for, uh, for dinner and a uh, drink or two. Uh, nothing too crazy, but wanted to check in with you guys. I know I didn't make a video last week, and this week obviously is about to end, so I was feeling guilty. Um, but basically what I've been doing in the background, obviously, um, is trying to source parts for the Evo project, as you guys know. So I have decided to pull the, the full race kit off, and I have decided to get rid of that and uh, go back to a smaller turbo. Um, I actually found a, a pretty cool guy locally um, this week that uh, had seen the videos online, which was cool, and uh, wanted to buy the kit. So he actually has a uh, MHI turbo for the Evo guys out there, which is a kind of like a stock upgrade, um, you know, stock Mitsubishi turbo. It's a slight upgrade for the one that came with the car, so basically it flows a little bit more per minute as far as air. Um, and will uh, just give me a little bit more top end and not fall on its face like the stock turbo. So, long story short, uh, I was able to make a deal with that guy uh, for the, my parts, for his parts, plus a little bit of cash, which I thought was pretty awesome. So we're all good there. And uh, so basically I'm expecting to get that, uh, complete that transaction on Wednesday, so a few days from now. And then once, uh, once that happens, Adam uh, will get the parts put back on the car. And we're hoping in the next two weeks here to have it running, which obviously is awesome. And uh, hopefully on the dyno in the next two to three weeks, which means I'll be road racing in August, which is awesome. So, which is the ultimate goal once again. Uh, for those that have not stopped by the channel before, uh, the Evo caught on fire last year, right around Thanksgiving. Had a small engine fire with the setup that's on it now. And I've decided to kind of go backwards a little bit and decided to go back to road racing the car versus half mile, um, which is what I've done t traditionally over the last couple of years. So we're going to go back to about 450 all wheel horsepower. My goal is to get it down to about 3,200 pounds and um, work on stuff like tires, suspension, and brakes. So got a lot more to tell you guys in the next few videos here in terms of what route we're going there, in terms of the brake setup on the car, pad and rotor setup, excuse me, and then uh, suspension as well, some coilovers and some other just miscellaneous like steering and suspension stuff to, to get it where I need alignment wise and, and obviously tire wise. The tires that are on the car are actually from 2011, not many miles on them, but um, at this point they need to be replaced and they actually have a patch in one of the tires. So. Um, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, other than that, I do have a surprise for this bad boy that we're in right now. I know this guy over here is pretty excited, but uh, actually I actually haven't told him yet. Um, but big updates on this. I'm not going to spoil it too much, but what I can tell you um, is we will be back at the drag strip with this thing probably sometime in the beginning of August. And Adam from AD Motorsports will be with us. And uh, we will be making a couple tweaks to the Jeep, basically. Um, I guess I am going to just give it away. Uh, we will be installing a two-step, basically. So get it tuned to have a two-step, which will allow the turbo to spool on the line and allow the Jeep to leave a little bit harder. Because if you guys watched those previous videos, and if you haven't, check them out. Um, basically, this thing's a little bit lazy with the 82 millimeter coming off the line. So um, we need to spool it off the line so this thing leaves a little bit harder and get a better 60 foot and get that eighth of the mile time down. Um, so the plan is to do that, and then we're actually going to throw some race gas in it, um, and uh, 130 octane or so, um, from what I understand from Adam, I don't know which one he's picking out, but basically throw some race gas in it, turn the boost up to 12 pounds, it's at 6.9 right now, and we are targeting a low 11 second quarter mile time at probably, hopefully 128 to 130 miles an hour, folks, so, um, no fucking around. Yeah, it's really fast for a big SUV. So it was at almost 119 last time. So basically, um, and the reason I'm going race gas is for more safety, higher octane, more consistent consistency with the stuff that you're buying in the in the barrel. Obviously, you know what you're getting versus pump gas or pump race gas, I should say. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at at this point. Um, so leave some comments below. I want to hear what you guys think. I know uh, a lot of you guys were. Uh, concerned about me getting rid of the uh, the full race kit and uh, kind of going backwards power wise and thought I was crazy so I get that for the record um, I totally get that and I know that the full race kit could have worked on the car and I know that it was just a matter of um, unfortunately probably you know boosting performance probably should have used different uh, fasteners for the turbo to manifold like Adam talked about um, you know maybe more of like an ARP fastener with a, a nut and a bolt not just the stud 
months. So, um, but either way, um, like I said, I just want to go road racing and 650 all wheel horsepower and 32 pounds of boost on a road course. And then in the Evo, just, you know, just wasn't what I needed. You know, I wanted to work on, like I said, steering, suspension, brakes, driver mod, and, you know, not overpower the chassis. So things like, uh, you know, the, the AYC or super all wheel control. So things like that. But um, I'm going to let you guys go for now. Um, I appreciate the uh, subscribers thus far. If you guys have stopped by the channel for the first time, please hit the like button and subscribe. And uh, like I said, much more to come on this bad boy. And uh, as well as the Evo in the next uh, four to six weeks here. So we'll talk to you all soon. Brad and I are going to go out and uh, get some good food in Chicago, man. So it's a beautiful day. And we'll check back in with you guys. Have a good night.